Victor child killer was back in court today asking for another trial. Donald Smith's new defense team argues his former attorney didn't clearly lay out his mental health issues. He was sentenced into death in 2018 for kidnapping, raping and murdering eight year old Cherish Periwinkle. Action's ex Robert Grant is live at the Duval County Courthouse and Robert, the defense argues the system failed. Yeah, Ben, that's right. The defense saying that Donald Smith was a repeat offender and should have been confined before the murder of Cherish Periwinkle. That's the argument those attorneys made here at the courthouse back in 2018. The same argument Smith says they failed to do so adequately. Donald Smith is back in court more than five years after he was sentenced to death for raping and murdering eight year old Cherish Periwinkle. His former defense team hired Dr. Brooke Butler, a psychologist, to consult Smith's attorneys on his mental state. Very long history of offending, um, and the state did. Um, really did miss some really some some big signs and he should have been at the very least monitored. Butler says that was supposed to be the argument back in 2018, but not the one Smith's attorneys today say was clearly explained to the jury. Butler says there were several mitigating factors that should have reduced the severity of the crime, including severe substance abuse and mental illness. Yet the defense argues the experts called by Smith's team never said that. There was some information that in the report that was just incorrect and it uh, and that concerned me. Butler says the doctor called to the stand instead said there were no mitigating factors. It sounded more like a legal argument um, as a po that that in my opinion was left up to should have been left up to the, the fact finder, the, ju the jury, the judge. The state fired back saying the doctor on the stand was recommended by Butler and argues Smith never complained about his team until now. They made a motion to dismiss the case, but the judge denied it. And the state will call its witnesses tomorrow, which is expected to be the last day of this hearing. Then it'll be up to the judge to decide whether or not Smith gets a new trial. With local coverage you can count on in downtown Jacksonville, I'm Robert Grant, Action News Jacks.